Christ to the Nations and the Nations to the Church. Daily Devotions from Lutheran Hour Ministries. Go Outside by Dr. Kerry Vo for Wednesday, May 19th, 2021. The text is Acts chapter 2, verses 1 through 8 and 11b. When the day of Pentecost arrived, they were all together in one place. And suddenly there came from heaven a sound like a mighty rushing wind, and it filled the entire house where they were sitting. And divided tongues as a fire appeared to them and rested on each one of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. Now there were dwelling in Jerusalem Jews, devout men from every nation under heaven, And at this sound, the multitude came together, and they were bewildered because each one of them was hearing them speak in his own language. And they were amazed and astonished, saying, Are not all of these speaking Galileans? How is it that we hear, each of us in his own native language? We hear them telling in our own tongues the mighty works of God. It must have been crowded where the disciples were staying, while they waited for Jesus to send the Holy Spirit from heaven. Acts chapter 1 verse 15 says that there were about 120 people in all. And I bet it felt a lot more crowded once the Holy Spirit came, and they all began speaking in other languages. It must have sounded like Babel in there. And completely unnecessary, too, since everyone in that room would have spoken the same language already. What use was the Spirit's gift in a locked room? So some sensible person got up and opened the door. And the disciples spilled out of the room, onto the stairs, and down into the street, where they quickly found an audience of people from all over the world. Those were the people the languages were meant for. Those were the people who needed to hear the gospel. They needed to hear that God's own Son had come into the world as a man, that he had lived, he suffered, he died and rose again all to rescue them from the power of death and darkness. They needed to know that God was offering forgiveness and everlasting life to anyone who would take it. Take it just by trusting in Jesus. They needed to know that God had flung the gates of heaven wide open and anyone who was willing could go in. But they never would have known it if the disciples had stayed cooped up in that room, would they? You to have a spirit-given language of some sort, a way to reach out to people around you who do not yet know Jesus or, or don't believe in him. It may not be a literal language like Spanish or Vietnamese. It may be a skill that you have that brings you into contact with people who need help, like nursing or accounting or building. It may be a gift of caring or hospitality something that helps you build relationships with your neighbors and ultimately allows you to share your faith with them. Whatever your language is, it's one that you can speak in the street. It's one that, if you're willing, God can use to bring his love and mercy to other people. You don't have to be experienced. You don't have to be wise. You just have to be willing. So pray with me. Lord, even when I'm afraid or nervous, Bring me out of my safe room and into the street, into the world of people you want to love, through me. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen.